All right, so we are at Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral. This place is a little bit like a legit Tomorrowland. We got the astronaut training experience. We have the bus tours, the world's largest NASA shop, and then we have a big rotating thing and a play plan. Look at that thing. The Mars rover. Whoa. Look at this thing. Can we have one of these? Look. Look at those tires. Wow. Holy shit. What do you think about how big this is? Up to the moon. I know, it feels so big. So big. You feel like you're an ant. So stage one is the big one. Then stage two. And then stage three is at the end. And then the third stage just has one little rocket compared to the other two. Just one tiny, tiny, tiny rocket. This is the Astro Van. I think there was actually a car called Astro Van back in the olden days. The astronauts sat in there. Look, it's a treasure gallery. Look at this. You are in your very own Fortnite vault. Look at this. You can't tell me this isn't the Fortnite vault. Wow, look at that. That is real. That must have been through space. Apollo 14 capsule. So this was after Apollo 13. Yeah, see? It was in the water. Picked it up. That's where it lands is in the water. That's a lunar sample. That came from the moon. Roger Chaffee's personal watch. Wow. A guidance computer from 1971. That's a television camera from 1969. That's pretty cool. These arms were part of an advanced Apollo suit called the RX-1. The suit design different from NASA's soft suits as it featured a series of hard joints designed to reduce astronaut fatigue and increase mobility. Wow, all these suits look ridiculous. Compared to SpaceX's suits now? Yeah, I know, right? Wow, look at that, buddy. That's the A7L extravehicular suit. All right, next is Atlantis Space Shuttle, which is this thing. Man, everything here is just so much bigger. That presentation was awesome, and this thing is incredibly big. There's the mecca of NASA merch, and it's pretty packed in here. It's the end of the day. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. You should probably get that. A Venus globe? Yeah. Really? Now we got all of the toys. We got Legos, minifig, and space stars. A couple puzzles, whatever he's playing with. Telescopes. Lots of Lego things. It is rocket science. It is rocket science. Oh wow. There's a keychain with a light. That's really cool. Not crazy about the design. Love the saying though. In fact, I'm getting a keychain. Failure is not an option. Over here, we have a SpaceX water bottle. That X is awesome. Falcon 9. And then I'm getting that hat. The Crew Dragon. Falcon 9. Falcon Heavy. Occupy Mars. Then they have some kid stuff. Very, very cool. We just finished Kennedy Space Center, and it was awesome. What did you think of it? I think it was great. It made you have all the feelings in like the little videos and uh, attractions that they had. There was more than what I expected. And then when you first walk into it, it doesn't look like much, but then you get into the buildings and you're like, oh, okay. Now I see. Lots of activities. I mean, we were here for three hours. We didn't hit everything. Yeah, half of it maybe. There was an IMAX theater. A ride, like a simulator. There's a lot of gift shops, which we very much did our part <laughs> at the gift shops. <laughs> we did our part. There was a lot of different places to eat and get drinks though too. So that's one thing we didn't do. Yeah, the bus tour was cool. No. I wish they would have let us get out and take pictures places. They just took you there. You went through this thing and it was awesome. Don't get me wrong. Oh my gosh, definitely solid nine. And yeah. we didn't even see it all. Yeah. Atlantis. Yeah, yeah that Atlantis. one is really good. Oh my gosh, tears. I think a nine, nine out of 10. Nine. Sebastian, what do you think? 10 out of 10. Okay. Sebastian is 10, 10, out, 10 out, out of 10. I like it. Yeah. Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> see ya.